Oh, there you are, YouTube. Chinese leftovers. Look at that perfect shape. Egg Foo Young. I just microwaved it and it's lost some of its shape. But when it had its shape, you know what it reminded me of? In the movie Moonlight, remember when Kevin serves Chiron uh, the rice and how it's formed in like that Tupperware container and it sort of had the shape to it? I don't know. That's just kind of what it reminded me of. Not so much anymore now that it's lost its shape. Hi, baby. <laughs> you finding flowers? You picking up sticks? Helping the groundskeepers out? Ooh. Parks are still closed, by the way. <laughs> and off again. <laughs> hey, look at mommy. She loves just having her back up against the tree. <laughs> hey, Nona, can you do that again? Ooh, was that a woodpecker? Can you stand against the tree again? Mickey's just hanging on for dear life. Is that Mickey? I had lunch so many hours ago, the rest of that, you know, Egg Foo Young, and I'm still feeling pretty full from it. So I think my dinner is just going to be this muffin, which is super sugary, as you can tell by the way it glistens in the light. But yeah, I just, I don't think I can eat a full dinner. So this is it. Nice little day. A lot of it just spent hanging with the kids, which I guess is kind of like every day, but we capped it off once they were in bed. We watched on Disney Plus that show, I think they just, you know, released it maybe a week or two ago, called uh, Prop Culture. Like prop, like pop culture, but prop culture. I can't talk right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's called Prop Culture. Anyway, it is really good. It is like highlighting all these classic movies. We didn't watch them in order and we haven't finished but we um watched the one from honey i shrunk the kids which is a great movie i never owned that movie i saw it in theaters and you know we'd rent it my neighbor had it um but i feel like if i owned that movie that would probably be in my top 20 films a lot of like when it comes to my favorite movies, a lot of it has to do with the movies, you know, I had on VHS and watched over and over and over again. And I would assume if I owned that one, 
that probably would be in my top 2025 20, somewhere around there um but they also had one from the Muppet movie and it reminded me that today one of my daughters while we were watching um man what was it they're really into OK Go, but I don't think we were watching an OK Go video. They're, uh, oh, they're, like, OK Go is like their favorite band ever, which is weird that they have a favorite band. They're not even one and a half yet. But um, OK Go did the Muppet theme song, and we watched that all the time, but that wasn't what this was from. Man, gotta remember. Okay, so it wasn't an OK Go video. It was um, when the Muppets sang Paul Simon's Kodachrome. We were watching that. And she sees Gonzo, and she can't say elephant whenever they either one of them sees an elephant. Instead, they make an elephant sound. They go, <laughs> and when she saw Gonzo on screen, she started doing that. And it was just so funny that, you know, she recognized his long nose being similar to that of an elephant and just thinking, Gonzo's an elephant. He's not an alien. He's not a Muppet from space. He's an elephant in her mind. So that was super cute. But yeah, this show, prop culture, is so good. We also watched the one for Chronicles of Narnia. And we watched the one for Pirates of the Caribbean. So we still have uh, a few more to go. But definitely a great show and one you should check out, especially if you are a nostalgist and love movies and movie props. I remember when I was a kid, like if you flip through my uh, books, you know, as I'm growing up where you put, you know, each, uh, your picture from elementary school and it asks you all these questions. A lot of those years when it asked me what I wanted to do when I uh, grow up, it was to be a movie special effects artist. So I have a, you know, pretty strong connection to this show. If, you know, I'm, I'm not a movie special effects artist, but just kind of reminds me of that time when um, that's, you know, where a lot of my main interest was as a kid, uh, wanting to create props for movies, do special effects for movies, pyrotechnics for movies, things like that. Great show. Anyway, maybe I'll see you tomorrow for more Peer Hangout.